This is Butters. Butters is 13 weeks old, and Butters is a very smart puppy. Dr. Charles Rayson, MD, is a psychiatrist and a clinical research professor at the University of Arizona. Rayson and his dog Butters met us at their Tucson home. So there's a lot of evidence that pets help people emotionally, right? We don't, you don't need to do a study. You know, some things don't need to be studied. We know that's true. You know, this is why they bring dogs into hospitals and geriatric homes and things like that. Now, Dr. Rayson and his colleagues hope to prove a smooch from your pooch can actually be healthy. So we're doing a study called Dogs as Probiotics. They've put 17 people together with 17 dogs from the Tucson Humane Society for an experiment that lasted 12 weeks to find out if bacteria transferred from a dog's mouth to a human can have a probiotic effect. We think that the, the, the dog kisses either on the skin or you know sometimes people actually get it into their oral cavity. Uh, there's a transfer of bacteria there and that transfer is a sort of, it's like taking, we think, a probiotic and taking a probiotic repeatedly and taking a very complex co probiotic. Probiotics are bacteria that promote a healthy gut and improve overall health. Sometimes they are killed off by overprescribed antibiotic drugs. We have been foolish in our dealings with the bacterial world. Doctors have even discovered that human fecal transplants can help people recover from the lack of good bacteria in the gut. So is it a stretch to think that dog bacteria might do the same. Encouraging good bacteria is one of the best ways to fight bad bacteria. Dr. Raison and others believe that dog probiotics could also have a positive effect on our brains. We know dogs make people feel better. We want to understand the mechanisms by which they make people feel better. And if it turns out that some of the feeling better is a result of changing and enhancing the bacterial composition of the gut, not only does that provide very novel ways of thinking about why dogs are so important, so it's good for the dogs, right, because they, they get elevated in our, in our perspective, our stature, their, their stature gets elevated. But if we can understand what they do in the gut, we may be able to devise other ways uh, other probiotic ways of doing the same things, and those may eventually turn out to be antidepressants. They won't have results until next January, although Raison is hopeful that right Butter's playful see, puppy nips are good for him. But she's definite proof that dogs, we think, are probiotics. If licking a person can transfer bacteria, this, this dog's like double strength. Ow. Stop, stop, stop. But eventually, Dr. Raison and others hope to discover a long hidden benefit of a very long evolutionary chain between dogs and mankind. Dogs and humans have co-evolved for, you know, at least now 10, 12,000 years. So we think that the dogs are sort of like a evolved beautiful probiotic package. That's what we think. What our research team is trying to do is to find ways to bring those good bacteria back into our modern lives.